Ni hao. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what you learn in the love, Chinese love series. So, uh, basically, this series is made for those of you who are interested from, um, you know, at the very start when you're thinking about love in China, if you're looking for a girl in China, um, to all the way until, you know, you, you ask her out, you go on the date, um, you know, going on a trip together, the proposal, meeting the parents, and sort of the cultural expectations that gonna, that's going to happen after that. Uh, yeah, exactly. So we're going to take a more practical approach to what goes on there, actually. So every lesson has a brief introduction, so maybe a bit of background. So what does that mean? Uh, for example, there we have... Uh, double Valentine's lesson, and one is focusing on the, the Western sort of Valentine's Day, while the other one is focusing on the celebration of the Chinese Valentine's and the story behind it. So it's you're gonna learn some phrases, some words, some slang, some conversational Chinese, as well as getting uh, sort of uh, an interpretation of what that means. So uh, something about how Chinese girls behave their values, their uh, traditions, uh, things like that. Very, uh, very practical stuff. Exactly. So if, uh, if w regardless of sort of which situation you're in, whether, you know, you're, you're at the start and you want to ask a Chinese girl out and you don't know anything about her culture, about how to approach the situation, about how they might think, about how they might react to a move of yours, uh, then this is for you, right? And if you're, if you've already got a Chinese girlfriend and, you know, you notice that there are some sort of uh, culture clashes there, then uh, this is going to help you understand uh, her perspective, where she's coming from. Um, and, you know, if you're going to meet her parents, um, that's a big thing in China, isn't it, Ava? Exactly. Yeah. So meeting the parent is, parents will always have a very important role in the girl's life. So we also we will uh, tell you a little bit more about that, and uh, not to to spoil anything. But we also have a lesson on proposal. So who knows? We might even help uh, some of you to get to to pop that question. Yep. So I mean, you know, the lucky girl who gets that question, you can make her even luckier by uh, you know doing it the right way. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Right, exactly. You can propose to her in Chinese and, you know, have uh, a few uh, phrases up your sleeve for that special day. That's going to be so romantic and she's really going to appreciate that. And then after you're married, you know, so uh, even if, uh, so after you get married and, you know, um, you have kids, uh, we're going to go through um, some of her sort of expectations, what she's thinking. Um, and, uh, you know, what's the sort of thing that, um, kind of goes in the relationship. Right. And also the, maybe the, the different values that, uh, you and her might share, uh, that go, yeah, from education and, and you know, things like, are you allowed to, to hit the boys or, um, and also the, the role of parents. Again, I, I'm repeating myself here, but. I'm sure uh, you will uh, find out sooner or later that the parents will always be there and will have a big influence um, on the girl's uh, thinking. And instead of, you know, don't try to fight it too much. Instead, we will equip you with a way of dealing with them in the right way. So showing them respect, but also um, getting your, your own way. Yeah. And we'll also, um, you know, talk about sort of... Uh how uh, you know, Chinese people think about uh, children, the importance of education, uh, which is very highly valued in Chinese culture, um, and you know how uh, Chinese people sort of select schools, these kind of stuff as well. We'll get a little bit into that, not too much detail into that part, but we'll cover that as well. All right. Okay, so if you've got any questions, uh, you can uh, shoot me an email uh, at uh, learnmando at uh, gmail.com. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in class. Say Jen. Say Jen.